Alrighty, this is it. Alright, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Raiders underscore 1995. Back at y'all again with another video. I want to talk about four things, so I'm going to try to hurry up and speed this through. I'm trying to make this a quick video. It's not going to be a 10 minute video or anything like that. So I apologize for that. But let me talk to y'all real quick. Alright. Uh, number one I want to talk about, we, the Raiders, resigned Pat Sims. Now, he doesn't have amazing stats. He's underrated. You know, he, he he isn't a big name dude, but later in the year, I saw this dude putting in work on the defensive line later in games when Vance Walker wasn't. But anyway, I'm not going to get on Vance Walker. He's with the Chiefs now. But, you know, I like this move. We need a defensive tackle. We didn't have any defensive tackles, but uh, Stephen McGee and uh, I think another dude. I don't, I don't, I don't know his name. But we really didn't have any defensive tackles. Yes, we went to work on a defensive line and in the secondary. But now it's good to have a defensive tackle. You know at least who could be a number two. I don't know. Maybe pick up somebody in the draft uh, at defensive tackle. But besides the fact, I'm really happy for this move. So I, I couldn't be you know any more happier for it. So I like that we resigned this dude. Pat Sims back on the Raiders. Back in that defensive line, gonna you know cause some damage in 2014. So the Raiders did that. And yesterday, while I was filming my video about Maurice Jones Drew, the Raiders signed uh, C.J. Wilson. So I apologize for it not being in the video. It was while I was talking about it, they uh they uh messaged me about it. So C.J. Wilson, another dude who's not really a big name dude, doesn't have amazing stats. But it's depth on the defensive line. The defensive line is going to probably be the best part of this team. It really is. We are having so much depth. And so many people are going to fucking talk about no identity or whatever. It's depth for when the other dudes are getting tired. You could slide him in. Slide uh, Woodley in. All those guys. So I'm not worried about it. You, you know, Reggie brings in a guy from Green Bay to, you know, Help out the defensive line. So it's cool with me. So adding another defensive lineman, we're just going to ca ca cause more damage in 2014. Number three thing I want to talk about, does Sean Jackson, and this is what's going to probably be the longest part of the video. So many people have hit me up on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, my Facebook, asking me what do I think about the Sean Jackson. For y'all that follow me on Twitter and Instagram, if you're not, the uh, links will be down in the description box, but I was, I was, you know, putting in my part. I was doing the hashtag D Jackson to uh, Oakland. I did it on Twitter. I did it on uh, Instagram. Got a likes for a lot of other people. We had a lot of tweets. We got recognition yesterday for it within 24 hours. So, you know, I love this fan base, man. This is why I'm glad I'm a Raider fan because I can't imagine any of the 31 teams, their fans actually putting in the hashtag bring, you know, whoever. Did, did we see Patriots fans, you know, hashtag bring Darrell Rivas? No. Did we see Bronco fans hashtag put, uh, bring in DeMarcus Ware? I, I, I just love this. I love this fan base, and I'm glad, and it is an honor to be a part of this uh, uh, fan base. I mean, our fans are just are crazy. We're the most passionate in the NFL. I'm going to keep saying that to the day I die. And everybody knows it's true. Anybody who disagrees is, you know, clueless. But we just have a lot of passion for us to actually get all those tweets out in one. It wasn't even 24 hours. It's, it's just remarkable, man. I'm in all support for it. And I, like I said, I'm just glad to be a part of the Raider Nation, to be part of this fan base. And I would never in a million years think about going to another team and just, you know, rooting for another team. I would never do that in a million years. It's always going to be the silver and black Oakland, Oaktown. So, you know, let's talk about Deshaun Jackson. Deshaun Jackson uh, got released from the uh, the Eagles. He got released from the Eagles, and, you know, I don't know if the game banging thing is true. It's been reports that he does. He came out and said, I never have in my life, so I don't know. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Maybe that's why they released him. I don't know. I don't know the details about that. But people have asked me, would I want him? Yes, I would want this dude 100%, guys. I want him on the team. 
good double team. This dude's going to get double team. Is going to allow everybody else on the team to star. Dude, I'm telling you, 2014, man. I, I, this season has to happen tomorrow or something. I know we still got the draft, but it needs to happen soon. Shoot, we got another four or five months until the preseason happens. And I'm going to be hyped for that. So I'm all in favor of bringing Deshaun Jackson over here. For, excuse me, I was about to sneeze. So I'm all in favor for bringing Deshaun Jackson over for all the people that were asking me, what do I think about Deshaun Jackson? I would love to bring him over. I know he's a little, you know, a little trash talking. He's a, he has a character issue, but you know, this is one dude who has a character issue. I would not mind coming to Oakland. So I'm all in favor for, you know, Deshaun Jackson. If he comes to the team, you know, it's what I'm going to be happy. If he doesn't, it's whatever, you know, it's not like a big loss to us or like a, a, a you know, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And another thing I want to talk about, this is the last thing I'm going to talk about. I'm at six minutes. Thought it'd be longer. Anyways, this is how I know we're making the playoffs next year. Yes, I've said, and the whole Raider Nation has said for years, this is the year playoffs are going to happen. Playoffs, 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 and it never turns out. But this is the one reason why I think this is the year. Not only because we got MJD, Antonio Smith, you know, Justin Tuck, all these dudes we're bringing over, and we still have the draft and Matt Shop. It's not just that. Charles Woodson today said the Raiders will be a play, uh, will be a playoff bound team in 2014. For a Raider legend that is on this team to say that, it, it, I, I'm sold on it. I'm sold. Whatever Charles Woodson says, I'm a, I'm a, you know, he's just a legend. He's a future Hall of Famer. For him to say we'll be in the playoffs next year, I am 110% with it. All these people we're getting. I mean, I'm not really scared of the Chargers next year. The Chiefs are the most team I'm scared of. I don't know. Maybe it's different for other people. But I'm scared of the Chiefs because all they need is some offensive pieces and they could be good. The Broncos... I want to whoop their ass so fucking badly. I'm tired of all this talk about Peyton Manning, DeMarcus Ware, TJ Ward, Aqib Tlaib. I'm tired of that damn shit. Yes, I, they're probably going to be the top team in the AFC West. But like I said, I want to knock these dudes off so fucking bad. So for Charles Woodson to just address it and say that the Raiders will be a playoff bound team next year in 2014, we're going to the fucking playoffs. We're going Raider Nation. Get ready for it. I'm gonna I'm I'm be excited. I'm the number one person who wants playoffs. I became a fan in 2003. The Super Bowl happened in 2002. So I became a Raider fan at the wrong time. I became a fan in 2003 and I'm still here in 2014. I think this is the year, Raider Nation, for the playoffs. I will be excited as a motherfucker. If we make the playoffs next year, I just my nut in my pants. I'm serious. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. But y'all get the point. I'll be excited. All right. All right, Raider Nation. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, Raiders underscore 1995. If y'all don't know, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The links will be down in the description box. And I got you, uh, uh, uh Raider Edits 98. I want to give a big shout out to this dude right here. I will have his link down below too to his Instagram. Raider Nation, if you have an Instagram, follow. It is a must, 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 must follow this dude on Instagram. His name is Raider underscore edits 98. Dude does by far the best edits I've seen of the Raiders players. What I like about him is he'll ask people, you know, what do you think I should do next? People enter uh, Raider names like, oh, I think you should do Michael Rivera. I think you do C.O. Moore. And he does it all. He seems to always get to everybody. He did meet my request with Andre Holmes and Cliff Branch. He does old-time Raiders for Throwback Thursdays. So the dude is just amazing. I talked to him on uh, on Instagram. He direct messaged me. We sometimes, you know, talk in the comments. Dude's a real cool dude. So please, Raider Nation, if you haven't, follow this dude on Instagram, all right? All right, peace out, Raider Nation. I'm out, and I'll see you all in the next video.